What I have here is the Explorer Arc Lighter. It's got a lithium battery, rechargeable, USB. The nice thing, most of these, and this is actually what they tout as kind of a survival rifle, uh, lighter. Some of the other ones have a US, open USB port down here. As soon as they touch the water, they're done. This one's fairly waterproof. They say it floats, which I'm sure it does. And it dual arc. And it actually works pretty good. That I think they said it'll get a hundred hundred lights, I think, but there it goes right there. This is this dry cattail leaf. Grass, dry grass. Got it burning. Leaf. Does cardboard really well too. Matter of fact, the other day I lit up some cardboard just for grins and it got it going. This leaf is kind of iffy. It was on the ground and wet, but you can see where it's burning it. Burns right, it shoots right through it. It's kind of impressive. Uh, let's see. Here's a shaving off of a twig. And it's got it going. So it's got a 10, 10 second timeout feature. But when you charge it, the blue light will come on and when it's charged, the blue light goes off. That's timed out. I didn't shut it off, it went off. So it'll run for 10 seconds at a shot. I think when they say it runs for, it'll it'll do a hundred lights, I'm almost thinking they're talking like cigarettes, you know, enough to light up a cigarette, so you figure second, second and a half. I haven't ever actually run this one like that. My deal is, is I carry it, they're kind of handy because with the little solar cells that I carry in my pack, you can charge this pretty easy. It's, I don't need, you know, monster solar cells because the only thing I'm really charging is this and maybe the phone if I'm out and about doing something. And those little fold up solar cells with the battery pack does that quite easily. So if you've got a small solar cell with a small battery, you can keep this charge to keep it going as a backup to your other lighter. But there is a, there's a cattail leaf and it's going. The only thing I do notice about it, and I'm not sure what it is, you gotta watch this button because as you run it for a while, that 10 second timeout got it kind of hot. So just be aware of that. I don't know if that's funny with this lighter or all of them. This is about the only one I've ever really messed with. It does have a good seal. It's been bounced around, it's got a lanyard hole. Pretty nice little setup. Polymer, uh, I think it's a polymer case. It's pretty tough with a lock to help keep the water out. Cause these things, I will guarantee you, once the water gets into the inside, they're done. They will not work again. I've got another one that charged up here that they were touting as a survival lighter, you know, trying to blow big smoke about it. Well, it had an open USB port in the bottom and it went swimming and I, it didn't take, didn't take me long to fish it out, but it was done. It never worked again. I just haven't got around to taking it apart to see what was wrong on the inside. But your Explorer lighter, you can get these anywhere from, I think Walmart just showed them on my phone for $8.99. Most other places, they're $13 to $16. You can get them most anywhere. All you have to do is Google Explorer lighter. I'll put in a few links probably in the video. Nice little lighter. I kind of like it. It's interesting. 